We didn't really start as Intera. It started uh, because um, some employees at Exxon came to me and said, uh, we're starting an environmental company for the company called Intercom. And uh, they wanted me to come over and get it started. I spent the first three months uh, doing that and we ran across a, a small company in Canada that uh, was into uh, doing some photos and other surveys of sulfur dioxide concentrations and their founder died in an airplane crash. And uh, we decided to, to buy them. And that's what was the forerunner of Intera. So that occurred uh, in 74, whereas I started the company in 1971, uh, the environmental effort. And it uh, grew from there. Intercomp had gotten this contract with Aquitaine uh, in Canada to uh, build an air quality model. And they were going to use the same three-dimensional technology that the petroleum industry had evolved. What I found when I first arrived at uh, Intercom was that those models that were called constant diffusion models would not represent reality. They did not represent the way that concentration fell off with downwind distance. And I was fortunately able to find in a book that if you made those coefficients, power law coefficients, it actually then reproduced how concentrations fell off with downwind distance. And that's what we put into the original air quality model. And it did a, a really a fantastic job. EPA was was amazed, although not willing to totally accept, because it uh, allowed industry to build slightly lower stacks than their models would have allowed. To me, that was one of the original successes. Um, later on, we were able to take some of that technology into the groundwater area. Nobody was using it there either. We, we developed a model for USGS. Um, and it was to be a three-dimensional um, transport model, and uh, nobody was using that in the groundwater area, but uh, we were able to uh, do it. We made a presentation back in Reston, Virginia, to all their geologists, hydrogeologists, the people that uh, were were really famous, John Bredehoff, uh, others of, of his stature, and, uh, they were really impressed with the technology we were. Uh, Suresh and I had fundamentally developed Suresh Paula uh, and uh, brought to that industry. So again, that was a lifting a technology from one area to another. And that's perhaps the one thing I pride myself on is that uh, I was able to take te technologies from one area to another and make them work very well. We got then approached after we had delivered that uh, model to uh, the U.S. Geological Survey by Sandia in uh, Albuquerque, and they wanted to uh, make it to handle nuclear components because they were looking at the, uh, how do I store nuclear waste in underground formations and contamination of groundwater is an area that you have to look at. And we were able to then put um, uh, material balance on the nuclear components and have as many components as you wanted to look at um, uh, and have the model calculated and, and how it flowed in the groundwater system. And that was a technological, technological success as well. So. Uh, those were uh, the three areas that I think formed the technical basis for Intera. The pride that I have in seeing the company uh, go from, from one person to what it is today, and I don't know how many people we have today, um, but it's got to be in the 150 to 200 kind of number. But that's, that's a, a pride of observing something that you um, 
got started and then see other management people and technical people work together to make a, an entity that can survive as long as they see it's a, a beneficial to them. And it's profitable, so it's going to be beneficial to others. So uh, it's pride, I think, that uh, I see in, in getting something started. I am uh, past the age of uh, being able to work as well as I can at uh, Interra, but I have enjoyed every minute that I have been with the company.